Hi, my name is Dan Sankraft. I'm Director of Solutions Architecture here at Liquibase. And in this video, we're going to talk about how you handle hotfix changes in a Liquibase environment. Now, this question usually comes up right after people get the notion of managing a pipeline with Liquibase. They understand, okay, I'm managing changes in a change log and I'm progressing them through a pipeline, but what happens if something goes wrong? So we're going to walk through a simple example illustrating one way to approach that problem. So let's take a simple example where we've got a pipeline. We have three databases and of course production is the oldest version of the schema with the newest changes existing in dev. We're using Liquibase to manage these schemas and so we can see there are some additional change sets in QA and even more in dev making their way through at different versions of the schema. And because we're disciplined Liquibase users, we've stored these change logs at their various versions in our source control system, something like Git. So what happens if we have a fire in production, something's gone wrong, and we now need to put a hotfix change into production? Well, because I'm using source code and because I'm using Liquibase, I can do this in a very straightforward way that's very safe and controlled, and it guarantees that I don't get a regression or some other problem at some later point in time. So I use some pretty simple standard workflows to get around this. The first thing I do is check out the version of the schema that's in production into a hotfix branch. Because I'm using Liquibase, I know that these change sets have been applied into production. They won't be rerun. Liquibase has safeguards around that sort of thing. And this is precisely what production should look like. So pull it into a hotfix branch where I can add my fix. I add the fix change set that creates a new version of the change log. Everything that's in production plus just these new adjustments to put the fire out. And then I can deploy it into my production environment. Since I know that everything that was in production is already in that change log, that's safe. Nothing's going to happen there. I'm just going to deploy. The only changes that are going to be deployed are, in fact, the new ones. And it's going to upgrade the production to the hot production schema version to the hotfix version of the schema. And that's great. So at this point, the fire's out. I know what's in production. I know what changes have been put in production. And everything is, is good. But it's really not enough just to put out the fire. What we next have to do is deal with how are we going to bring this new change. So now production is, is it's out of sync. It needs some way to bring that new change set back into the main line for the rest of the databases so that all of our test cases can account for it, all of our test environments will look like production, and we don't have a risk of some kind of a regression at a later point in time. Again, because I'm using Liquibase and because I'm using source code, it's very easy for me to deal with this. I can use the good old-fashioned concept of a merge, where I take the version in my hotfix branch, which has the new hotfix change set that's in production, merge it with the tip of my schemas in my main branch, figure out what the new thing should look like, and create a new schema. So an incremental schema that now includes all of the latest stuff, plus this new hotfix change set from production. Once I've done that, because I'm using Liquibase, I can go and deploy the schema wherever I need to, my earlier two environments, however it needs to be, so that that change set is now included, it gets included as it should be, only as an increment to all those earlier versions, and I can guarantee that it will be accounted for point forward in the history of this application. So it gives me a great deal of control, gives me a great deal of safety, gives me the ability to put out fires in a very disciplined and controlled way without losing fidelity of the overall pipeline and having regressions or other problems with my test cases later. So it's a pretty powerful concept and one that helps you manage your databases regardless of whether it's normal times or, as we all know happens, there's some kind of a fire burning. Thank you for your time and attention on this video. I hope you find it helpful. Look forward to seeing you out there in the Liquibase community.